Hi, my name's Jason Plato, best known for my exploits in the British Touring Car Championship and also for fifth gear on Channel 5, and least known for my love of all things design and property renovation. Now, anyone that's embarked on one of these projects will know that it takes over your complete life. You end up with brochures and bits and bobs all around your house trying to find the perfect solution for whatever it may be. This, um, <laughs> this plug socket... It's taken me two months to find the socket that I want. Design is really crucial and key to everything I want to do with inside my renovation. Now clearly interior design is very important to the overall look and feel of your property. But it's the exterior which is also important and often overlooked. Front doors, there's plenty of choice, but garage doors, there isn't a lot of choice. Silverlux have managed to integrate the two as one design concept, and this is the result. Now, one of the sexy parts for me about this door is the security. Now, Silver Locks do four grades of security. I've gone for the all sing and all dancing. You could probably drive a tank at this and you wouldn't get through it. But the security can be bespoke to your requirements, very much like the exterior look of the door. But one of the main things which I'm really excited about is that this whole door system can be incorporated into your home automation and your security system and your lighting system. I can even open this door from a mobile phone if I was in Spain. Now, I've gone for the full set, the front door that matches the garage doors. But if I didn't have the garages, would I still have the front door? You better would. Now, after months of searching round for the perfect garage door, I was starting to get disheartened because none of the companies ticked all the boxes. You know, I had a very specific design brief. A, it needed to fit in with the existing architecture of the barn. B, it needed to be very, very secure and a high quality. And uh, C, it needed to integrate with the home automation system I had. Then at a trade show, I met Ian from Silverlox. And finally, I found a company which wasn't just going to sell me an off-the-peg garage door, but rather work with me throughout the whole design process to come up with a bespoke solution, whilst maintaining a keen eye on design. Ian, yeah, how are you doing? Fine, thanks, Jason. How are you? Yeah, good. good. No, the doors have gone, gone in well. They've done a cracking job. Come on, have They're a working look. well. Yeah, they are. They're great. Good. The first thing we did after meeting Jason was arrange a site survey. It's important for Silverlux to do that because it gives us a feel for the property, what designs could work, what level of security you need, and yeah. how you use your garages. One of the first things I noticed, Jason, was that your garage was laid out like a Formula One pit. It is a bit, isn't it? <laughs> and it was clear that the internal look of the garage doors would be probably as important as the external look of the a garage doors. Absolutely. I mean, you know, looking around, those months I spent trying to find a product, the last thing I wanted was this horrible track and motor sat on the, uh, on the ceiling. By using counterweights, we can not only make uh, a door without the ceiling rails and track so it looks good internally, but we can also make a very heavy door. And a heavy door means we don't have to compromise on security. Now, security, massively important when you've got a few toys kicking around. Well, that's right. And you know, all Silverlux doors have three things in common. Right. Number one, they're very secure. This door's got four locking points. There's actually a steel core running right the way through the middle of the door. No one's getting in then? Nobody's getting in. Good. Second thing they have in common, they all work really well. Mm. You know, the first door Silverlux made in 1959, still working. Oh, really? Yep. 
And the third thing all Silverlex doors have in common is that they look great. There's a massive choice of design, mm. specification, materials and finish. So pretty much anything the customer wants. That's right. Now, one of the things I like here is it's got a proper wet weather seal so we don't get any leaves and vermin and stuff going in the garage. So that's, that's a good feature. I like that. It's got, we've got weather seals all the way around this door. So in fact, the, the door itself is insulated. So you could heat the garage if you like with this type of door. The panels are 80 millimetres thick with insulated yeah, right. material all the way through. These are good. There's a couple of, there's a sensor here and a sensor down the bottom where, you know, I can't close the garage. So when it comes down, it won't come on my head. Very safe system. Yeah. You set us a bit of a challenge here, Jason, with the uh, design, didn't you? You wanted a particular rebate. I did. The detail is in the design. It's all about detail. All Silverlux doors are handmade. Every Silverlux door starts with a drawing. If you remember, we yeah, made a, a drawing, first of all, to show you this particular yeah. rebate. Yeah. You approved it, and then it's handmade in the factory. So, this is uh, hardwood, isn't it? It's hardwood with an oak finish. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Now, this is my favourite bit, I like this. Look at that. Secret door. It's great, isn't it? If you just nip in and out of the garage, you can go in and out through there. You don't have to open the whole door. Now, and it works off the remote control as well, which is great. It does. But that's what I like the best. You don't know it's there. It's hidden. Come on, then, let's have a brew. Close that door in. <laughs>